Good morning. Today is Monday, April 27, 2015. Nepal is still reeling from a massive earthquake. I'm Aaron Murphy. And I'm Zach Arnold. Turns out if you have a bad back, the problem may be your DNA. Your CSN News starts now. After a 7.8 earthquake, Nepal is in a massive state of confusion. Nepal's government says that there are 3,700 dead and the toll is expected to rise. Also more than 6,300 people are injured and tens of thousands lost homes. People are sleeping in the streets because they are unwilling to enter their homes uh, in fear of aftershocks. On Mount Everest, 18 people died in an avalanche that plowed through the highly populated base camp. Climbers remain stranded on the mountain itself and no one knows how many are dead or injured, or how many dead or injured may be in higher camps. Have you seen Fast and Furious 7 yet? If not, you may be in the minority. Furious 7 became the third film ever to make $1 billion internationally and lead the domestic box office for the fourth straight week. But the fight with Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron is already on as it opened with a $201.2 million debut overseas. In North American theaters, Furious 7 has enough left in the tank to win the weekend with $18 million earned. While the film has been a huge domestic hit, it's been an even bigger hit abroad, particularly in China, where it set a record with $323 million. People with lower back problems are more likely to have a spine similar in shape to that of the chimpanzees, our closest ape ancestor. A lesion which forms in the disc between the bones of the spine is the reason for differing shape. It would have caused the vertebrae to change as humans evolved from using four legs to two legs. The researchers say that the findings could help doctors predict who may be at risk of back problems. We'll be right back after these messages. Warm weather means sandals, shorts, and tank tops, but let's stick to the dress code rules. The rules state, nothing that promotes drugs, alcohol, violence, or sexual feet. No gang or hate group attire. No bare back or bare midriff. Tube tops, spaghetti straps, sheer, or halter tops are not appropriate. Shorts and skirts need to be fingertip length. No hats or hoods. Consequences for breaking these rules may result in warnings, parental contact, or suspension. At school, we want you to dress for success, so follow the rules. Do you feel cool when somebody's feelings are hurt? Do you feel better when harassing other people because you're bored with your own life? Then you must like being a bully. Bullying on any campus is strictly prohibited. How would you like to be bullied? It wouldn't be fun, so don't bully at all. Bullying can be cyber, physical, verbal, and emotional. If bullying is happening in school, tell the nearest adult or the SRO so the problem can be resolved. If bullying is suspected, you will be suspended and even put up for expulsion. Don't make a mistake and keep the school safe. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 69 with a low of 44, mostly sunny. And tomorrow's high is 80 with a low of 45, partly sunny. April Fest is here. The annual spring barbecue will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week. A cheeseburger meal with a can of Coke and a bag of chips will be $3.50. Bratwurst meals will be $2.50 and a traditional hot dog meal is only $2.00. New this year is Tillamook ice cream. A dish of the premium treat is just $1.50. See you out on the patio this week only. Senior Monopoly. This week, seniors Caleb Harper, Clayton Kreps, Seth Fresher, and Camille Smith will be competing for a $300 scholarship, playing a giant game of Monopoly during eight-day lunches. Check it out during lunch and show your support as they battle for financial supremacy in the Commons. The Penny Drive Penny Wars will be coming to an end this week, with all profits benefiting the Women and Children's Alliance. The containers are filling and only one grade level, or the staff, will be treated with ice cream next month for raising the most money. Drop your coins off in the main office anytime before Friday. FHLA will be hosting the Cinco de Mayo celebration Tuesday, May 5th during all three lunches. There will be vendors and taco trucks. Be sure to bring money. Also, seniors, the senior, class photo, uh, the senior class photo will take place May 6th at 1.30 in the main gym. Make sure to be at school and you, that you don't miss out. Today's SAT word of the day is spontaneous, which means impulsive or not planned. You could use it in this way. Keep your head. Keep Keep going. Going. Keep going. Oh, ah! It's gone. I can't see it now. It's gone. 
The decision to do a trivia question is often a spontaneous decision. Wow, that, that by was Mr. Allen. that was quite spontaneous. It's not, it's not on the. Come that on was back quite to spontaneous. I'm too beautiful not to be on air. See, and it's even on your script there. Okay, yeah, we make this crap up as we go. Which camera am I on? That one. Now put me on one so you can see my beautiful face. Okay. Or two. One, one. Get, take one. One. Give me a three shot. Come on. There we go. Does that feel better? Much. Much. It does feel better. Uh, yeah, we do uh, uh, the, uh, the trivia thing spontaneous. Today, a special trivia for teachers only. Now, what I have here, if I can get it open. Oh, well, there it is. What I have here is an LED USB light. Now, the way this works is you just simply plug it into a USB, say maybe on, I don't know, anything that has a USB, and presto, light. Work for a laptop, I assume a Kindle, um, anything like that. This is for teachers only, and that's because today's trivia question is actually just to see who's the fastest. So right now, as teachers are fumbling their way over the machines and inputting my name as their email, everybody, what I want is on page 59. On page 59, the first complete sentence on that page. What's the first word in that sentence? Page 59, first word in the first complete paragraph. What is that word? And teachers, oh, you will earn this beautiful LED light, which you can use as, I don't know, uh, give it to a student as a good job kind of thing, uh, read late at night, I don't care, but they're really cool, it's fully flexible, easy to work with, and that's the trivia. Page 59, first word in the first complete paragraph. Teachers, good luck. Don't trip and break a hip while you're running to your machines to email us. That's the news. Remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix it. Precisely.